Hey everyone, in this video, you'll see how to connect Stripe to MemberPress. Stripe is the most popular way to get paid with MemberPress, and it lets you accept payments through credit card, Google and Apple Pay, and much, much more. With our Stripe integration, you'll be able to accept payments through wallets like Cash App Pay, Alipay, WeChat Pay, and a lot more. You can also use Buy Now Pay Later platforms like Affirm, Afterpay and ClearPay, and Klarna. And if you're in Europe, you'll be able to accept payments with Ideal, Band Contact, EPS, and a whole lot more, some of which you see listed out here. And we also have a lot of options for other countries too. Just be sure to see our knowledge base page on Stripe to get an up-to-date list of supported payment methods for your currency and region. If you went through the setup wizard when you installed the MemberPress plugin on your WordPress site, you had the option to add the Stripe payment method then. If you did use the setup wizard to install Stripe, then you should already have the Stripe payment method added in your MemberPress settings. But even if you already have Stripe connected, stick around to see how to customize it. Okay, so let's go to WordPress now and see how to set up Stripe. So in this video, first, I'm gonna show you how to connect Stripe manually, which you can do at any time. Before you get started, you'll need to have MemberPress installed in your WordPress site, and you'll also need a Stripe account, which you can create on the Stripe website. So here on my WordPress dashboard, first I'll connect Stripe. I'll go to MemberPress here in the left sidebar, Settings, and the Payments tab. And then click this plus sign icon to add a new payment gateway. Then here from the dropdown, Stripe will automatically be selected for you. If it's not, just choose Stripe here. So first, give it a name. It could be Stripe, pay with credit card, or pay with Stripe, whatever you want. Whatever name you choose will show up on your registration pages when people are buying a membership and selecting a payment method. And then to connect it, click connect with Stripe and then you'll be redirected to this page on Stripe. Now, I'm already logged into my Stripe account in my browser, so I'm taken to this page. And if you're not logged into Stripe already in your browser, you'll have a chance to log in right here in this window before you see this screen. And then from here, select which account is Stripe that you want to accept payments with. And then click Connect. It'll take a moment to process, and then you'll automatically be redirected back to the MemberPress settings. And you can see Stripe's now connected. Okay, so once Stripe's connected, you see some options here under the Stripe payment method. You can disconnect Stripe at any time by clicking disconnect here, or click this X icon here in the top right corner to delete the payment gateway altogether. If you do this, just be sure to click here to save the change. But if you have a live website that's collecting payments, we don't recommend just disconnecting or deleting the Stripe gateway. If something goes wrong with Stripe, check out our knowledge base and Stripe support documentation for troubleshooting before just removing Stripe here in the MemberPress settings. So here on the left, you see three checkboxes. These will show or hide information on your registration pages on the payment method. So to show you that, I'll open my site in a new incognito window, so I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. An incognito window lets you view your site as if you're a brand new visitor, so you're not logged in in any way. And then I'll open up one of my registration pages. So back in the settings, if I uncheck show payment label and then save the changes, once it's saved, going back to my registration page, I'll hit refresh. And you can see here the word Stripe is gone. Which, going back to the settings, is the name set on the payment gateway. So disabling show payment label hides that. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable it again. Now, if I uncheck show payment icon and hit save, and then head back to my registration page, unchecking show payment icon will hide these icons right here. So I'll refresh it. And then now you can see that they're gone. And then going back to the Payments tab of the Settings, Show Payment Description will show or hide a small description of the payment gateway when you have Stripe Checkout enabled. We'll see what Stripe Checkout looks like next, but real quick, just to show you the payment description, I'll go ahead and select Stripe Checkout right here, and then keep Show Payment Description enabled. And then I'll save that change. And then going back to my site in an incognito window, and a registration page. 
Here it is with Stripe Checkout and the payment description enabled. So the description is this text right here. And then going back to the settings, now I'll disable the payment description. And then I'll save it. And then going back to that registration page, I'll hit refresh. And here it is with the payment description disabled. So it just hides that text. And just note, my registration pages look like this because I'm using MemberPress's ReadyLaunch styling to style my registration pages. If you're using a WordPress theme or page builder instead, this will all work the same for you, but your pages will look slightly different depending on your design. ReadyLaunch is our built-in page styler that gives your MemberPress pages default, sell-ready designs right away. And you can customize your brand color and logo. So here's what a registration page looks like with ReadyLaunch and my logo and brand color. And you can easily toggle the ReadyLaunch styling off and on back in the MemberPress settings. You just go to the ReadyLaunch tab. So for example, toggling the registration page off here will turn off ReadyLaunch styling for your membership registration pages. And it'll use your WordPress themes design instead. See our knowledge base for more information on ReadyLaunch and how to use it. Also, we'll see what my registration pages look like with my WordPress theme later. Okay, so moving on. Going back to the Payments tab, before I cover the rest of the options here, I want to highlight this one first, Test Mode. Enabling Test Mode lets you throw your Stripe gateway out of Live Mode and into Test Mode, so you can make test purchases without actual real-life payments going through. Leaving Test Mode unchecked here will let you receive live payments on your site. So enabling test mode lets you use some test credit card numbers and information to test things out to make sure everything's working for troubleshooting purposes or before making your site live. So I'm going to enable test mode here, and then I'll save the settings. The next thing you see under Stripe is the ability to select Stripe Elements or Stripe Checkout. See our Knowledge Base page on configuring Stripe to see more information on the difference between the two. But the basic gist is that Elements lets a purchase happen entirely on your website, where Stripe Checkout temporarily redirects customers to a page on Stripe to finish a purchase. So to show you what these look like, I'll leave Stripe Elements selected here, and then I'll go back to my registration page as a test customer in that incognito window. And now I'll sign up with some fake testing data. So this can be any name, username, and email that I make up. And then I'll enter some test credit card information, which I got from the testing page of the Stripe website. And you can see I enter my payment information right here on my registration page. And then when I hit sign up, it'll take a moment to process. And you can see I'm taken to my thank you page. So the test purchase went through. Now, going back to the payments tab of the MemberPress settings, next I'll select Stripe checkout. And then I'll save the change. Now, I'll open my site in another incognito window. So again, it's like I'm a brand new customer. And then I'll go to sign up, choose a membership. And now I'll start the test sign up with some fake testing data again. And this time, since I have Stripe checkout enabled, you don't see an area here to enter payment info. But you do see this here for Stripe. And if I had more than one payment method set up, here a customer could select which one they want to use. And then when a customer clicks sign up, they're redirected to this page. It's still in the same window, but it's a separate page on Stripe to complete the purchase. So I'll go ahead and enter some testing information here and complete the sign up. And it'll take a moment to process. And you can see that I'm redirected back to my site and my thank you page. So Stripe Checkout is a very similar process as Elements, but Stripe Checkout just redirects users temporarily to a separate payment page. Now again, I am using MemberPress's ReadyLaunch page styling for my site, so if you have ReadyLaunch styling disabled in your registration pages, this Stripe payment process will work the same for the most part, but it could look a little bit different depending on your theme and styling. And you can see our knowledge base on ReadyLaunch for more information about how to use it and how it all works. So to show you a small sample of what I'm talking about with WordPress themes, if I go back to WordPress, and then here in the Payments tab of the MemberPress settings, 
I'll enable Stripe Elements, which remember lets customers finish a purchase all in one screen. And then I'll save the change. Now I'll hop into the Ready Launch tab. And then here I'll toggle Registration Pages off. So now when I open my site in a new incognito window, and then head to one of my registration pages, here's what it looks like with one of WordPress's themes. So quite a bit different. But you notice that there isn't a spot for Stripe. If I go ahead and fill out this with some fake testing data, and then click here, it takes me to this page where I can enter my payment info. And notice it's all happening right here on my website since I have elements enabled. But it's still happening on two pages. So say you're using a WordPress theme like I am here, but I want the payment to happen all on one page instead of two. There's just one setting you'll have to enable to do that. So back here in WordPress, in the member press settings, just go to the account tab, and then click here to enable single page checkout. This makes it so personal information and payment information can be entered all in one page with Stripe Elements. So I'll enable it and then save the settings. Now, when I go back to the incognito window and go back to a registration page and make sure everything's refreshed, now you can see the information fields with the Stripe credit card payment fields here, all on one page. And real quick, to show you what Stripe Checkout looks like with my WordPress theme instead of Ready Launch, I'll head back to the Member Press Settings, the Payments tab, and select Stripe Checkout, and then save the change. Now, going back to my incognito window and a registration page, I'll go ahead and fill out my registration form with some fake test info. And then now when I click here, I'm redirected to the separate payment page since I do have Stripe Checkout enabled. So that's what these processes look like with your WordPress theme. Now I'll go back to WordPress real quick. And first I'm gonna go into the Ready Launch tab of MemberPress and switch my registration pages back on. And then I'll go back to the Payments tab and just switch this back to Stripe Elements. So here on the Stripe Gateway, you see another option for customized payment methods. Clicking this will bring up this window, where you can enable additional payment methods that will show up in your registration page under the Stripe payment method. And if you have your currency code set to Euro or a few others, it'll show the payment method supported when using that currency. So for example, if I go to the General tab of the Member Press Settings, and then change my currency to Euro, and then save the change, Then if I go back to the Payments tab and click Customize Payment Methods, now I see a lot of different methods that I can enable now that my currency is set to Euro. So going back to the General tab, I'll change my currency back to USD and then save the change. And then I'll go back to the Payments tab. And just one note, if you have payment methods enabled here, and then you change your currencies, it'll disable those payment methods that you had enabled. So you'll just need to go back in and toggle them on. Now, I'm not gonna go over every single payment method that you see here. Check out our knowledge base for a full list of payment methods that you can accept with Stripe and for more information. But to use one as an example, I'll use Cash App Pay. Before you enable a payment method here in the member press settings, first, you'll need to have it enabled in your Stripe account. So going back to my Stripe dashboard, and then going up here to settings and payment methods, you'll just find a payment method that you wanna use. So in my case, Cash App Pay, and then click here to turn it on. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now it's activated on my Stripe account. So going back to the member press settings, I'll enable it here and then click Update. So it's all set. 
So now when I open my site in a new incognito window, and then I'll head to a registration page, and then scrolling down to Stripe, you can see Cash App Pay added here. So a customer can click on it to use it, and they see some instructions on how to pay with it here. So going back to the member press settings and clicking customize payment methods, the first one that you notice here is Link. Link is a service by Stripe that lets customers securely save and reuse payment information for a much faster checkout process on any site or business that uses Link. So before you can use it, just make sure Link is enabled on your Stripe.com account. So I'll go to my Stripe dashboard again, and then here in the payment methods, I'll find Link. And just make sure it's set to on. And then going back to the member press settings, I'll enable Link and update. Now to show you what Link looks like, I'll go back to my site in the incognito window. And then now I'll fill this out with some fake testing data again. And then once I have my personal information filled out, you can see this section here for Link. So if a customer has never used Link before, they can click here and enter their phone number. And then when they complete the purchase, a Link account will be created for them. So the next time that customer is on your site making another purchase, they won't have to enter all their payment details. Stripe will detect and autofill their info as long as they have their Link by Stripe account active. They would just enter a confirmation code and then their payment info would be filled in for them. So keep Link enabled on your Stripe gateway in the member press settings if you want to offer that to your customers. And see our knowledge base page on Link for some more information and a more in-depth tutorial. So now going back to my Stripe dashboard, here in the settings and payment methods, you can see a list of payment methods supported by Stripe. You'll see wallets, bank redirects, buy now pay later platforms, and bank debits. One thing to note is that there's a lot of different payment methods for those in Europe. Just be sure to see our support docs page on Stripe for a full up-to-date list of methods that you can use with MemberPress and a list of supported currencies by each. And then before you enable the payment method, just be sure to have that supported currency set in the general tab of your MemberPress settings. Next, I want to show you one thing to note when enabling payment methods. Going back to the member press settings and the payments tab, if you don't have a particular service turned on in your Stripe account and you try to enable it here, you'll see an error message letting you know that you need to turn it on in your Stripe account before you can toggle it on here. So that's a good feature to make sure that your payment methods all work. Okay, one last thing. When you're ready for live, real payments on your member press site, go ahead and disable test mode here. And then save the changes. And then you'll be ready for live payments. See our section on testing in Stripe in the knowledge base, as well as our full video tutorial on testing to see how to run some sample payments before you kick your site into live mode. And while you're there, see our other information on configuring, using, and troubleshooting the Stripe payment gateway on your MemberPress site. Also, be sure to follow our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks on all things MemberPress. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.